Okay, so we've got our market information from the MLS. We've went ahead and we've uploaded our list. Now it's time to actually put together the market update so we can send it over to our list and uh, complete it and get, it, get the information out and stay in touch. So here's what we're going to do. The first thing we're going to do is check our email. And I sent you over a um, folder called Templates. Download that, open it up. Inside you'll see uh, these four different files, a market update numbers template for San Bernardino and one for Riverside. Okay, since we've got the numbers for both counties, all we have to do is simply update it and enter the information. Now this is real easy. There's a PDF files. You just click them. Okay. And for some reason, there we go. Okay, so I click that and you can see that it has numbers already inputted. Yours will not have any numbers, um, but what you can go ahead and do is all these, all these houses are actually editable. So if I wanted to go ahead and edit them, I could just click and of course I can edit. All of these are editable, 100% editable. So if I wanted 224, I could type that. Let's say this one didn't have anything, it's 889. Well, I would add a space in the front just to kind of even it out a little bit, get it somewhere close to the middle. Same thing, I could come in here and add it, edit this as well. Let's say there was actually 450 that sold. I can press the space bar and just kind of center it. And I would do that for each one of these um, according to our information that we gathered from the previous, uh, from the previous videos. Okay, so again, I would uh, edit that. Okay. And then what I can do is I can click on it and then I'll right click off of it and just click save and that'll save all that information. Okay. And if I notice that I made a mistake, I could always come back, edit that, click off of it, right click, click save, and it'll, it'll save that information. As you can see, it's saving up here. All right. Now I would do that again for the Riverside, uh, or San Bernardino, either one, whichever one I didn't add add or edit come in here again I can add it edit this right then I'll click off right click then click save you can see it's saving and that'll have all my updated information now it's time to actually get this over into MailChimp but first we need to update our market update uh, our market banner as well so we'll double click the other file that's in the template over template folder that I sent over to you. And you can see this one's an old one from June. So what I'm going to want to do is actually update this and I just click on it. Again, it's 100% editable. Very easy. Just click and type. And now I have July 5th, 2015. Perfect. Click off, right click, click save, and it beautifully saved. So now we're all set. We've got all three of these updated. Very, very easy. Now we go back actually to MailChimp. Okay, you have my login from the past uh, video. If you need to review that, go ahead and do that now. And then uh, once we're in MailChimp, we'll go ahead and go to campaigns. Once we're in campaigns, we're actually going to see that we have the Riverside market update. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and check that. Okay, because I'm going to start with that one first. And then what I'll do is, I don't actually need to check it, I'll just click it. All right, and then it'll load up and it'll send me into uh, the market update. Now what I need to do is replace this information and replace this information to make it up, make it concurrent. I'll come in here first and then I'll just update this so that this will say July 2015. Click save and close, beautiful. Now I'll need to come here and update this. However, in able to update this, I need a JPEG file. And the previous file that we had is a PDF. So what we need to do is convert the PDF into a JPEG. And how do we do that? Well, we simply open up another browser and we go to www.ilovepdf.com. Awesome website. I go there takes me to the front page, I go to PDF to JPEG, click that, select the PDF that I want to convert, which in this case happens to be market update numbers template Riverside, click open, and then I'll click convert down here at the bottom. It is updating now, 
as you can see, almost finished, almost finished. Beautiful. Now that is done. So now it's going to go ahead and save it. Great, downloaded. Now I can come back and now I can change this, right? So what I do is I come in here, I click edit, and I'm going to go to replace because I want to replace that picture with the updated information. It's going to take me to the file manager, which then I will click upload. And then I'm going to go find that information that I just that I just downloaded, which will be this one here. So I'll click open. And you can see here in the right hand corner, it's uploading it. It has uploaded it. And the image is too big. Uh oh. So now let's fix it. Let's click this less fix. And it's telling me it should be anywhere from 600 to 800. So I'll just go 600, be safe. Type that in. Click apply. Click save. Sometimes this takes a little while to save. Okay, so it finally saved. You can see it's down to 600 by 450, and now it's in there. Looks great, ready to rock. Okay, and so now we need to update this. Okay, so this will be the final thing we need to update. We've already updated here, which we needed to update, and then we've updated this as well, and now it's time to update this. So I'll click this, this little uh, edit button here, edit block, come in here, and I will replace this. Okay. And in order to replace that, we're going to have the same problem. So I need to X this out. This is actually needs to be replaced as a JPEG, not a PDF. So the other one we have is a PDF. It won't work. So we got to do the same thing again. Go to www.ilovepdfs.com. PDF.com. Go to PDF.jpg. Select a PDF, which in this case is going to be our market update banner. Open on that. Okay, you can see it there, convert it to JPEG. Okay, it's going to give me a, a file time. It's going to pop up. That's going to download. Beautiful. So now I come in here, come back to MailChimp, hit replace, upload, go to my downloads where I saved it. There it is. Click open. It's uploading now. Okay, you can see. <clears throat> And again, it's just too big, so we've got to fix it again. So let's get in there and fix it. We'll take this down to 600 by 150. Actually, I'm going to go, sorry, 1200 on this one. Hit apply. Hit save. This one's a little longer. We want it 1200 by 300. Click save. You can see it's beautifully in there, and it's updated along with this. Now we're ready to go. So we'll just hit save and close. And now you've completely updated the market update. Now it's just ready to send out.